All right, well, um, so this video is to uh, run decision trees, classification trees, and regression trees using R. And then the next video is going to be on how to uh, fit random forests and do uh, bagging uh, again using R. The um, data set we're going to use now for um, for applying or fitting decision trees, first of all, we're going to start with classification trees. And the data set we will be using is called the car seats data set. Um, this is uh, found in the uh, ISLR library here. I've written some code um, so we can you know, move faster with this video because we've been doing this for a while, so we were not going to repeat ourselves now. Uh, I'm going to uh, load the data, uh, the library ISLR, into R. Um, and then the library tree is the library or the package we're going to use in order to uh, fit decision trees. So again, I'm going to load it. If you haven't installed it, please make sure to install it from uh, the package uh, menu here. And then I'm going to attach the car seats data set. Um, if you want to lead, look at what variables we have in this uh, data set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 variables. Um, and uh, actually, since we want to uh, predict sales uh, based on all of these other variables, sales, as you can see here, it's continuous variables. So we want to, uh, since we want to do classification, we can do classification of, on continuous variables. Um, so we are going to change that variable to... Um, a categorical variable by applying, um, you know, if it, if the sales is greater than eight, uh, for example, it's going to be a yes, it's a high, at, or it's high sales. Otherwise, it's going to be low sales. If you look at, uh, if you want to look at the range of the sales, the range of sales goes from zero to sixteen. So we can split that into half half. If it's between zero and eight, this means that it's low sales. Otherwise, it's going to be high sales. So we are going to create a categorical variable based on this sale. There's the if else if else statement. This is a um, it's a it's a very um, powerful uh, statement that you can use in R that will help you directly uh, create a vector called high, and in this vector we are gonna put yes or no based on this condition. If this sales is greater than eight, then we're gonna put yes that it's high. Otherwise, it's not going to be high. So here is the, first, the condition. If the condition is correct, then it takes this value. Otherwise, it's going to take this value. So let's run it here. And now we have created a vector called high. Let's see uh, the length of this vector. That should be also 400, which is the same, um, well, um, the same size of the car seats. If you look at dimension of car seats, we have 400 observations and 11 variables. So let's attach this high variable to car seats uh, using the data frame command. Data.frame, it's going to create a new data frame. And uh, this new data frame, it's going to have the previous car seats data set and attach to it uh, the uh, vector high and um, it's going to re like kind of like override the previous car seat um, um, by you know by saving it into car seats again um, so here if you look at the data set now we have created the data set called car seats we can use another name of course and that now it has 12 variables instead of 11 variables because we added the height the high variable so for example if you look at um, what's inside car seats that's going to tell you all of the names of the variables, including high. Now, it doesn't make sense to keep the sales, and, um, you know, we probably need to get rid of it, or we can keep it, and then, event, like, later on, um, you know, in our analysis, we can uh, take it off. So, um, either way should be fine. We can actually do it now. So, we have car seats is equal to car seats. So in this data frame, we want to get rid of the last or the first column because the first column has sales. Uh, so we're gonna say comma minus one. This means like hey, take the first column away. 
So if you see here, car seats now has 11 observations. Names of car seats. Um, it took it took sales away because you know it doesn't make sense to keep sales because we're already using the high variable here to do the prediction. Anyway, um, so now after we got rid of sales, um, since we are gonna use random uh, sampling in order to uh, you know split our data set into a training data and testing data, and again, if you haven't seen the videos earlier, how we split these uh, tra to training and testing, you know we went over these in details before. Um, we need to set a seed here. Um, this uh, setting the seed is just you know for the purpose of if you want to produce the same results later on because if we are using a, ra a function that depends on a, a random number generator which is in this case sample it's gonna always gonna give you different results every time you run it so if in order to get the same results you have to specify the seed for that random uh, test generator you can use whatever you want seed one seed two it's up to you um, but you you have to be you know to remember the seed that you use I'm gonna use seed uh, two here um, and then you know split the data into training and testing here we are using half of the data set to be for uh, training and the other half for testing and here we created, uh, so we have the training data, the testing data, and we created a testing high variable in order to, you know, uh, you know, do the comparison of our prediction to the actual um, uh, sales here. Okay, so let's continue by fitting our uh, trees. First of all, we would like to, um, um, you know, to fit the tree model using the training data. Tree model using training data so let's call it tree model and that's gonna be tree we're gonna use high we're gonna predict high from all of the predictors and we are using the training data this is gonna produce a tree model uh, you can see this tree by plotting this model And it's going to produce the tree here. Note that there is no text on this tree. We can add the text by using the text command and again specify tree model. And um, if we're using categorical variable, then we are actually uh, going to use the uh, argument pretty equal to zero and I will tell you in a bit why we use that because if we don't use pretty equal to zero when we have a categorical variable such as self location shelf location it's gonna give you characters a B and C instead of giving you the real values for these categories so uh, this here we have created the tree of course you can uh, save it and make it bigger and, and more more readable um, uh, now um, you know sometimes we might um, Next, we need to check the date, this tree. How how is uh, this tree doing? So we are going to use the testing data to do uh, to do this checking. So uh, check how the model is doing using the test data. So we are going to first predict using the test data for tree model. So it's the same model we created here, we're going to use it on the testing data. And now since we're doing classification, we have to specify that the type of prediction is going to be of type class. And we do the prediction here, and after that we can, you know, uh, get the mean of, um, you know, compare what we predict, three predicted as different from the testing high that will give you the misclassification error. So the misclassification error in this case it's 28.5 uh, percent. It's a little bit high. So probably if we do pruning for the tree it might help. In order to do pruning we have to do cross-validation to check how much we have to prune like we, how, how many levels we have to go 
Oh, so prune the tree. So first we need to do cross validation to check um, where to stop pruning. There is a uh, function called cv.tree and this is also a function that uses uh, you know the random number generator so we have to set a seed again here so set.seed let's set it or maybe to 2 or to 3 or whatever you want and then um, once we set the seed let's create a um, you know cv3 cross validated validation tree so we have the cv.tree function that's gonna do the cross validation we are gonna do that on the tree model and the function here we are specifying is since we are doing classification we have to specify the function to be prune dot miss class all right now this here cv.tree it's gonna uh, um, if if you look at the names what what it saves in it it oh, names not name it gives you the size of the tree different sizes of pruned trees with their the uh, D, dev here stands for uh, deviance or in other words the uh, um, uh, what we call the cross validation uh, error rate so if if you want you can um, look at plotting the size versus the classify the the error rate here so uh, CV uh, CV underscore tree and then we are gonna access from this um, the X variable is gonna be size the Y variable is gonna be the CV tree and then deviance, which is the um, error rate. And then, you know, of course you can add titles to that, but I'm not gonna do that now because we probably wouldn't have time. Um, and then run it. Once we plot that, it's gonna give us this. Maybe we can add, uh, you know, the type of the plot. If we add B, that will create a plot where it connects this with lines and keeps the dots here. You can see that the minimum uh, error rate here is somewhere uh, where we have a tree size of 9. So it makes sense to, to prune the tree at uh, size uh, 9. Um, so let's do the pruning. Please make sure also to, you know, to add titles instead of using these variables here. Uh, so prune uh, to prune the tree. Let's create a pruned model. So we're going to use the function prune dot miss class because we are using classification. And the tree model we created at the beginning, we are uh, you know using the best size to be equal. In this case, to be equal to nine. That's the pruned model. Now um, you can also plot it. And then, of course, add text to it. Pruned model and pretty equal to zero. That will add the text. At the very last, here we need to check how it's doing by doing predictions so uh, tree predict equal predict and then pruned model the video might cut but uh, we're almost done pruned model on the testing data and then type would be equal to class and then finally we can get the mean of the tree predicted different from um, testing high that gives you a misclassification error of 23% so the pruned one 
is better than the